All right, here we are back today working on the 66 Ford project. And I think today I'm gonna try to tackle that uh, little bit of rust there on the hood. So I'm gonna get set up, get my tools out, and we'll uh, cut that piece out, see if we can't find a piece of metal, and uh, shape it and see if we can take care of that little bit of rust right there. So, so the story for today is not long after I had this truck painted when uh, when I was a kid it was primer gray for a long long time and I finally got it painted and uh, had one of my campers on there and we were out camping and I was with my brother-in-law and uh, he thought he was a car guy and uh, he uh, had a camp trailer with a with a canvas awning on it and he'd used a screwdriver to tie it down to the ground and wind came up and it whipped his screwdriver and came across and hit my hood and put this big old scratch in my hood and you know I just figured hey stuff happens but uh, yeah that was from my brother-in-law just after it was uh, painted a few years ago but that's one of the other stories you know this truck has a lot of those old memories when we were camping and traveling and things like that and there's some other stories I'm gonna tell but that's that one all right there's the there's the hole uh, the rust and I found a piece of sheet metal uh, that's a uh, quarter out of something else that I've repaired over there's my magnet so I'm gonna take and cut that piece out and then we'll uh, see if we can't fab up a piece to go back in there I'm not gonna bore you with all the cutting but uh, uh, I'll come back when we start fitting it okay so I started cutting on it and I thought I'd stop for just a second and look at that I don't know if you're picking that up very good but boy look at how that's how that's rotted it must be double thick so I might have to do some work on the uh, on the inside as well there's a brace there and I think there's a, a brace here so I'm gonna have to lift the hood up but just crazy how that rust starts to s expand and bubble and poke out and kind of crazy but just thought I'd let you have a look at that so that's the problem with why that rusted out is you can see that that's a double piece of metal uh, all across there and so when I get to towards the painting stage I'm gonna have to take it and see if I can blow that out but I'm gonna have to replace the inner part of the hood as well as the outer so this is gonna be kind of interesting I'll uh, cut it maybe have to drill some of the welds but we'll uh, we'll check back on it here after I cut on it some more all right then we've uh, I've cut it out and this side looks pretty good it looks like that inner metal is a little thinner than the outer but I've got a little bit of rust over here so I'm gonna dig at that a little bit I might uh, I might come down here a little further and open this up just a little bit more to make sure I've got all the rust uh, I was looking here and everything seems okay here on the rest of the hood so I think that's my only spot is right here so I'm gonna dig around at this a little bit and see if I need to uh, cut out any more and then we'll get to fitness a piece okay so I've decided that I am gonna take out some more of the metal here there's a spot weld there and a spot weld there I think I'm gonna get a drill bit and drill these 
and then uh, just cut a little bit over. Uh, I might just drill the one and then come down and make you see that I'm into good metal. Uh, I tried digging it out right here in this corner and there's just it's just too hard so I know I've got a lot of rust going on back here so I'm going to open it up another inch or so uh, but I'll let me get my tool set up and then we'll come back and look at that. All right so they make a bit for drilling spot welds but I don't have one so I'm just going to use this bit this uh, little bigger than a quarter inch to start and then once I get a little divot in there I'll go ahead and drill uh, go up to a little bigger drill bit uh, so let's see how it works Okay, now we got a little bigger drill bit. I think that did it. So I think that'll do it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit more out. So I went ahead and cut it some more and I think I might be okay. I am gonna have to uh, wiggle it a little bit. There we go. And there's that piece. Let me grab my little screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, I think we're okay. Uh, I'll take and get that with a little bit of a grind and a uh, little grind there, and then I'll hit it with some rust prevention, and uh, we should be good. So let me do that, and then we'll get back to fitting the piece. So I think what I'm going to do is just take a wire brush to it. I don't know if that's helping much. Can't really get back far enough to give you a good idea of what I'm doing. And then I think I'm going to... Uh, I think we're going to fire up my compressor and uh, blow that out and uh, make sure I got most of the loose rust out of there and then uh, we'll start putting it back together but not as bad as I thought it'd be. Be It's always fun to see these things uh, fix the things that have been wrong with them for a long time and it really uh, kind of gets you excited about the end project but there's still a lot of ways long ways to go but it's uh it's fun i'm having a good time all right here we go i got my uh air chuck
So let me step out here. So this is what I use. It's called uh, Rust Fix. It's made by Duplicolor. And this is what I treat all these heavy rusted areas with before I uh, repair them or cover them up. Put a little shot of this on there. So pick this up at uh, O'Reilly's is where I've been picking it up. So Rust Fix. it'll turn it black when it dries and that uh, neutralizes the rust so I'll give that a good shot in there and uh, let it sit for a few minutes while I uh, get my piece ready to go in sorry about the camera work I'm gonna buy a regular uh, camera put it on a tripod uh, these will get better as we go so I'm going to make the inner piece first. Let me get the hood down here. I'm going to make this inner piece first. Bend this radius here and a piece across and then bend this one here and then weld that in first. And then I'll work on this uh, outside piece. So I'll get started on bending, cutting that. Now I got this cool little shear these are from uh, Harbor Freight, and it's for cutting sheet metal. It, I think it goes up to 10 gauge, maybe 12. But uh, this is great for cutting straight lines, even circles. Uh, a lot of times it's a lot easier than shears. It looks like a, a drill, uh, but uh, cut a lot of sheet metal with this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece and uh, bend it and then we'll fit it and weld it in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut a little bit more of this inside out. Straighten this line up a little bit because this is still pretty rusty right here. And that'll, Sorry, I'm going to cut along this line here, straighten this up because this is still really rusty along here. Give me something a little better to weld to. So that's what I'm doing next. Okay, I'm really glad I did that. Uh, I cut it back more here. See, that's nice and thick. And then I cut this back. And now it's all nice and shiny and thick too as well. So, got some good metal here to work to. So now, I'll take some measurements and... I'll try to get you each step of the way as we bend this piece of metal. Okay, so that's my piece of metal. You can see I've traced it out. And I'm going to cut it out with the shear, and then I'm going to bend it, put the bend in it. And I'm just going to do that over at my uh, vise, over there with the hammer, and uh, just clamp it in the vise and do it nice and slow and work it, and try not to beat it up too bad. So I'll show you that when I've uh, got it done. Okay, so here we go. If I can get back far enough. You see that? Got this fitting pretty good in there. I'll take and tack it across the top and then I'll kind of weld it down and then fit the, there we go, fit the lip once I get it welded down to that point. And that'll give me a nice square edge. So I'm going to go ahead and get my welder and put a few tacks in it. Okay, so that's welded in the inner piece. Just remember that's an inner piece. Cross there. And then in there, I haven't ground it yet. But uh, that's the inner, fixing the inner part of the hood. Got a little bit more shaping to do to get it just right. But... That's nice, I'm liking it. 
So I'm going to start on the outside and see how far I get. So there it is. Uh, ground up a little bit. You know, it's under the hood. I'm just going to do a little bit more work on it. Probably when I take the hood off and uh, feather it out a little bit more. But it's a nice patch. It'll work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is at my work, I have a sheet metal brake and I can bend this piece of metal so it's nice and straight. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it to work, bend this patch, and then I'll come and weld it back in. Uh, that'll be my next project. But the inner part looks really good. That's a little heavier metal and I think it's going to last a long time. So another one of those projects I've been wanting to do for a long time. And uh, we'll finish it up another day. All right, we're back on the fixing the rust in the hood project. I uh, bent me up a piece and uh, got the band a little tight. So I'm going to take a minute and straighten that bend out and get it more the right shape. Maybe work on uh, crisping them up, this, making these edges a little tighter. And then uh, we'll get to welding this baby in there. Uh, but that looks better already, I think. May have to trim it down a little bit up here. It might be a little long, but it's better to be a little long than a little short. So I'll uh, work on this and then we'll come back and see how I do getting it fitted. All right, here we go. Uh, I've worked it now a little bit. Uh, you can see that's fitting good. I've got to take and uh, trim it a little bit here to make it fit a little better right here so I can get it out where I need it so that this edge lines up good. Then I'll throw a straight edge because it's pretty much straight all along here this is straight make sure I've got a good alignment and then I think I'm just going to uh, weld that down like that I don't think I'm going to do any more trimming on it uh, if I need to do some grinding to even this up I will but right now I'm just going to take and mark this and do a little grinding here and then uh, clamp it in and weld it up so we'll get back to that here in a minute. All right, I've worked it a little bit. I'm going to start tacking it in. Uh, I'm going to start on this uh, end here. See what happens. was not expecting that I thought that uh, this would be plenty thick but it's a little thin so I'm going to adjust my welder but that's the gist of it I'll be back in a minute all right so I've started tacking it in and I kind of noticed this last night when I was welding in the inner the inner part that I had got the hood hot and had warped this metal so now I'm going to have to take and work it along here and tack it as I go because I warped this because I got it too hot. I didn't. I should have had something cool along here as I was welding it in. So I'm going to take and use these pliers just to hold it down and uh, tack it along here. Okay, so there's it tacked in a little bit. I'm going to have to go around and fill it up so it's solid, but that's a pretty nice patch. I think it'll last a long time. I'm not going to have a lot of filler. So let's let's talk about body filler for just a minute. Uh, some people tell you, oh, you're putting too much filler on that or whatever, but filler's a necessity if you want your panels to be straight. Those uh, SEMA restorations and those cars you see that are high dollar restorations, they all have a, at least a skiff of Bondo. That's the only way, body filler, that's the only way you can get them straight. So 
anybody tells you that you shouldn't be using body filler or you're putting too much, you know, they are they all have it. It's just part of body work and having a nice straight body is you got to put some filler in it. So, but this won't be bad. This will just be I'll grind this all off and it'll be a nice small skiff across there and uh, it'll look great. So let me go ahead and finish burning it in and then I'll uh, grind it and show what it looks like after it's all ground out. So there it is. All ground out. Uh, it looks a little, you know, they don't look that great when you're, uh, after you get done grinding them and stuff. But once you get a little filler in there and smooth it out some, it looks really good. And uh, it's a whole lot better, whole lot better than that big old rust hole. So let me show you what I'm going to be working on. I think the next project I'm going to take on, just so you know, is uh, the tailgate. I got a pretty cool idea. I was talking to a friend of mine uh, that has, does a lot of this. See if I can get a slide. Oh, I don't know if that helped any, but anyway, you can see that there's some serious rust all along the bottom of that. So I've got a I've got an idea that I'm going to try, and uh, I think that'll be the next time we uh, get together and to work on the old '66 is to work on the tailgate. But lots of projects, but. Uh, it's fun. It's fun seeing it come back together and, you know, have a little love and TLC. That's, uh, they can all use that. Of course, we can all use it. So, till next time.